Hi, my name is Ted Ween. I'm a stroke neurologist in Montreal, Canada at McGill University. Hi, I'm Josh Goldstein. I'm an emergency physician at Mass General Hospital in Boston, Massachusetts. Um, this year I've been the chair of uh, the pre-conference of the International Stroke Conference, which is entitled Stroke in the Real World. Um, this year is our fourth year doing this, and this year we targeted emergency physicians. The goal and objectives of the conference this year was really to target emergency uh, department physicians as to the latest treatments in stroke care, and more importantly as to the various resources that would be available or are available to them, not only in managing and treating their patients, but in implementing system-wide um, approaches to organizing healthcare in their region. Uh, we had a multitude of speakers this year, and this is a part of an ongoing series uh, sponsored by the AHA to really get all groups involved in stroke care uh, up to date and up to speed and all groups speaking to each other to ensure we're on the same page when we treat our stroke patients. And I think I'll have Dr. Goldstein uh, comment now about the program today, which I think went incredibly well. Thanks so much. I think it was a, it was a huge success. We had a tremendous turnout. We had uh, uh, physicians, we had nurses, we had uh, mid-level providers, nurse practitioners and physician assistants. We had neurologists. Uh, we had a few primary care folks. Uh, and so it was just a fantastic turnout of the kind of people who are uh, treating stroke on the front lines of, of care, uh, clinicians who are, who are showing up and uh, um, seeing these patients and being the ones who actually uh, um, uh, have the, have the uh, struggle of how to make the right diagnosis and give the right treatment uh, uh, rapidly. And uh, so we had some great talks. We talked about, uh, of course, how to make the diagnosis uh, uh, quickly. Uh, we had uh, uh, my colleague here who actually gave a great uh, talk on how to do a rapid neurologic exam. We had uh, one of the world experts in dizziness actually give a, give a nice talk about how to tell which people with dizziness ha are having a stroke versus aren't. Uh, and that's always, always a tremendous problem for, for frontline providers. We had uh, some uh, uh, both emergency physicians and neurologists give talks about uh, how to treat stroke in the acute phase, uh, thrombolytics, intraarterial therapy, endovascular therapy, as well as uh, the range of therapies other than just revascularization, uh, how to do blood pressure control and glucose control, things like that. We had a, a lawyer come and give a talk about malpractice. I think that was a, a tremendous uh, area of tremendous interest for everybody. We don't often have a lawyer come to us and, and talk, tell us about what it's like to uh, be defending a case against a, an emergency provider. We had some great questions and some great discussion from uh, neurologists, from emergency physicians, from nurses, uh, who really wanted to know how to provide better care for their patients and uh, give real, to, how to get real practical advice uh, on how to take care of these folks in the uh, acute setting. So overall, I think it was a, a tremendous program. Uh, I think a lot of people got some great take-home messages uh, for, for it. And, um, and so I think it was great, and I hope the AHA continues to uh, put on programs just like this. Tell us what the future holds. Um, I think there's a lot of things in the future. Before I get to the future, yeah. I just want to point out this is the International Stroke Conference. And one of the joys of this conference for me, and I'm sure for Josh as well, as I put words in his mouth, is that we had people from all over the world. We had Europeans, Canadians, North Americans, um, some individuals with South American background that really gave their perspectives on, on health care and how things are done differently in different countries in different regions, but more importantly, how we can learn from them and apply them to our uh, present healthcare systems, both north of the border where I'm from, as well as in the United States. And it really brings the international stroke community together, so it really provides us with a means of sharing ideas with each other. This uh, conference is entitled Stroke in the Real World. Um, we, um, the AHA does want to continue this and really try to bring different groups of um, stroke, provi stroke healthcare providers together. Um, in the past, we've had uh, uh, people, uh, physical therapists, occupational therapists, uh, speech language pathologists, and physical medicine and rehab doctors. We had a program last year targeted to family medicine doctors. And the future will be continued, which group will be targeted next, or whether we should be generating a national stroke course. We really saw today a lot of questions on how to maintain stroke patients in underserved communities. More and more we heard today about the lack of stroke neurologists, uh, internists taking over stroke care in their regions without having any real support to it. And I think this really lends credence to the need that we need some sort of national stroke education course where people can get not only the latest research but really provide them with a sound foundation on basic stroke care and most importantly what's changed year to year so that we can optimize care for our patients, but most importantly to improve patients' lives.